Okay, so gymnast planks. Um, if you're comfortable being upside down, this is a really great trick. If you're not, haven't done handstands before, go do some handstands in your room, in your living room, whatever. Um, you're gonna look pretty stupid, admittedly, but uh, it'll get you a feel for being upside down. If you're comfortable with it, move on to this trick. If not, I don't suggest doing this trick. Some people just can't deal with being upside down. Okay, so the Basically, the trick to gymnast plants is shifting all your weight on your hand immediately and kicking up with your legs correctly. When you, I suggest starting uh, off the board first, and so pretend I'm standing for a bit. You're holding your board like this. You shift your weight up. As you're coming down, your body starts to bend. You plant the board on the ground, and immediately following that, put all your weight on your hand. That's the general weight shift that um, you'll be doing what, no matter where you're starting your gymnast plants from. Kicking up correctly, don't swing your legs up. If my hands are my legs, don't try and go like that. Your legs will end up being splayed and just generally ugly. You can end up falling. It's a lot less stable and you can't hold them much longer. Try and slightly swing and then kick up with both your legs, one after another. Um, you're feet will end up much closer to each other, uh, you'll be much more stable, and the gymnast plant will look better. As you're kicking up, I tend um, to think only about getting my feet as close to po as possible together. Um, my legs and the rest of my body motions tend to fall into place after that if I'm just concentrating on that one thing. If you try and concentrate on too many things, then your gymnast plants end up looking pretty ugly. So that's really about it. If you're oh, if you're starting from tail stop, it's the ba same basic motion, except you're gonna have to pick the board up from tail stop. So bend down before you jump, lift your weight up, grab the board, then rise and plant. So you grab, kind of release your grab to bring your weight up and grab again, but your hand doesn't really leave contact with the board. Same goes for rail. You're in rail stand, right? Bend down and grab. Take your front foot off the board. Shift your weight up and plant and kick up with this leg first. Obviously try to kick up as close as vertical as possible. And as soon as you start kicking up with your um, the leg that's off the board, the leg on, that's on the board should be on the rise um, off the board, allowing you to pick it up. Um, same goes for tail stop, actually. As soon as you start kicking up, lift your foot off. Okay, so if you're having trouble, if you're falling over in the handstand, you're either not comfortable enough in a handstand, so go practice those, or the board's weight is throwing your handstand off. I actually tend to find that the board stabilizes me a bit, so if you're not used to picking the board up and doing stuff with it, start off the board to begin with and kick up and just practice it a lot. If you're falling over, twist your hips so you'll come down on your feet and not your head. Um, it's pretty painful to fall on your head and you don't want to do it basically. If the board, if you're trying to flip, flip the board and your handstand's going wild or you're missing the catch, Try um, getting more comfortable upside down so you can flip the board around and your body won't move much as a whole. Um, that's about it. Uh, I'll show you how it's done.